Okay, this month we've been talking about the gift of prophecy. And uh, we've had three lessons so far. First, we've looked at what this gift of prophecy is, where we talked of who a prophet is, we talked of some of the examples of the prophets, and uh, we also noted that uh, prophecy is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Then we also went to discuss further about who can receive this gift, where we said that it is the Holy Spirit that imparts this gift on us. We also noted about the false prophets in that particular session. And then we also talked of the purpose of this gift, where we said that whoever receives the gift of prophecy is for their own upbringing, is for their comfort, encouragement, and also prevention of deception. So before we go into our topic of today of how we can use this gift of prophecy, we want to understand why we use this gift. So the reason we use this gift is because God expect, expects us to use the gifts that he has given each one of us. And remember, each one of us receives this gift according to our abilities. For some, he'll give the gift of prophecy. For others, he'll give the gift of wisdom. For others, tongues, some miracles, some knowledge, and so on. So each one of us a gift is imparted to us according to our abilities. And as you note, Matthew 25, 14 to 30, we all know about the story of the master who gave talents to three of his workers. We know what happened in that story. So that story reminds us of the urgency to use our gifts, otherwise there are repercussions. So we will go straight into... Uh, the purpose of this gift. How can we use the gift of prophecy? First, an ad, first, we'll talk about admonition and correction. We know what it is. There is always the Holy Spirit that convicts all of us to get away from our sin. There is always something in our ear telling us to do away with our sin. And this is only to help us to Get out of the chains of sin. And so 2 Samuel tells us of the story of prophet, Nath, of prophet Nathan, how he corrected King David about what he did. We know the story talks of how King David king killed Uriah just to get the wife, Bathsheba. You know that sin, that sin did not go unpunished. But God, at the end of it all, listened to David when he repented of his sin. So that is one of the way of correction. We will go to, the gift, to another use of guidance. The scriptures tell us all about how God was speaking to his people to guide them. Moses, for example, used the Ten Commandments. They were from God, and he was guiding people on what to do. We also know of all the laws, the civil laws, for example, the law of idolatry, all the laws that were in the Bible that were guiding people on how to live their lives and how to follow God's ways. Then we will go to the use of inspiration. God is telling us to help us know about him through the prophets. Yeah? We know, for example, Psalms 46, 11, it tells us that our God is the fortress for us. He wants us to know more about him and follow in his ways. We also go into the preparation for salvation. We are reminded in the scriptures to get ready. We all need to get ready to see our kingdom. Only those who will be ready will see the kingdom. So we are reminded to prepare ourselves, to prepare others too, so that we can all be ready to see the kingdom of God. So what is the conclusion of everything we've been talking about? All the things we have talked of this month 
are to guide us to get ready for the kingdom. And our prayer this month is that all parents will help their children to nurture their gifts. Different children can have different gifts. We all have different talents. So please, parents, help prepare your children for the different talents or gifts that they have so that they can be able to prepare for heaven. That is the end of our lesson, and we, we hope that it's God's prayer that all of us will be able to nurture our gifts. Thank you. Can someone pray for us, please? Let us pray. Thank you, God, for your word. May you help us to keep it in our hearts. We pray that believing and trusting. Amen.